Hello peeps, how's it going? Hope all is well. Today, we're in episode number 11 of our Thomas Vega FIFA 21 right wing back save with Philadelphia Union. Now then, the past two episodes, there was a bit of a blunder on the channel. Uh, episode 10 wasn't supposed to go up when it went up. It was supposed to be Zondo and I uploaded the wrong thing. I lost a Zondo video, so we uploaded double of Thomas Vega. So you had episode 9, then NBA, then you had episode 10. Uh, normally you have to wait four days, but you had a little double special because um, yours truly messed up. Um, but we're back here now and a lot of people are excited for this episode because we are in the playoffs we have dc united and now if we beat dc united and we carry on going through in the playoffs it'll be great because um this whole episode will be philadelphia union the whole playoffs if we lose in the first game and we go out that yeah i don't know i, I guess we go back to ball i don't really know i don't really know so i'm hoping we win and we carry on uh thomas vega's been loving his time at philadelphia out on loan uh he's only played eight games so he has four assists and one goal and uh, yeah, we're trying to get through this playoff system. I'm guessing whoever wins the whole playoffs wins like the trophy. So we can potentially win a trophy with Thomas Vega. Um, we've already won one league title, actually, right? If we go into my career, he's of course won the Bundesliga th or Liga 3, I think it's called, with Bayern 2. Um, so who knows? Who knows? Potentially another trophy. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Run the intro. Hey, -o! 10k subs, yeah? David, done it again, done it again. They see the Brody hit 10k, next year that's 50,000 subs, I swear. Little overcast day. Uh, are we at home? We are indeed. In the lovely black kits. Philadelphia Union vs DC United. I've been loving, absolutely loving Thomas Vega. Which surprised me. The, 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 the thing is, I think I prefer Thomas Vega than our left back Karim we've done on FIFA 20, which obviously it's our most viewed video on the channel. It's a legendary video, legendary series on this channel because the most viewed. But I just feel like because I'm better now and I know about playing fullback more and because it's called Thomas Vega. I don't know. I don't know. I'm loving this series because we're going out on loan and going to different teams and stuff. I'm, I'm just, I've been in love with it. I really have. Alongside Carabao Zondo, FIFA 21 are two of my favorite my players we've ever had. So. Although, obviously, this one, you know, Vega didn't get as much views as the left back, which is expected. Again, that was our most viewed video. I love Thomas Vega. Good effort here. Hamid with the save. Early chance for TV. Uh, let me know what you let, 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 let me know in the comments down below. Who, what is your favorite ever player Karimad we've done on this channel? Of course, there are a lot to choose from. It's Thomas Vega setting his sights on goal again just wide. Uh, of course, you have Thomas Vega, Carabao Zondo, Kofi Kwasi, Donny Demur. Uh, you have Harry Tuvi, the left back. Harry Tuvi, the striker. Um, Harry Tuvi, the cam. There was a few Harry Tuvis. Um, there's some of the live stream ones we've done, like Remy Dubois, Klaus Carlsen, uh, Don Key. We had a goalkeeper before. Only OGs that entered the live stream back in the day will know them. But we've had a lot of my players on the channel. Let me know in the comments down below. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite uh, ever my player? There we go. Early, early questions so I can see... Who's active in the comments? Early question. Who's your favorite ever my player we've done on FIFA? Or Pez, if you prefer the Pez ones. I don't mind. I might do a poll, actually, on the community chat, on the community page. I like seeing you guys get involved. I've been thinking for a career mode, a special career mode for FIFA 22. Um, because, obviously, on FIFA 21 I have on PS5. But FIFA 22, I may... I, I was talking about this on FIFA 21, but I never end up doing it. But I may end up getting FIFA 22... Oh, I shouldn't have called for that. FIFA 22 on PC, so we can get mods involved. And I may do a modded career mode. Let me know what you guys think about this as well. I may do a modded career mode with all of our past FIFA and Pez players on one team. And do a career mode, a road to glory with them. I reckon that might be pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Thomas Vega. Down the right side. Oh, that touch did not help him. Can't win it back. TV does have the long throw. He's just going to go short here. Get the ball back. Go there. And again, lovely. Lose the defender. Who's in the box? Ah, oh, I held that a bit too much. Went a bit too far there. And again, and again. Oh, it goes to Santos instead. Have a crack. Corner kick. Half an hour goal. We've been the better team. Been the aggressors here so far. Not playing too bad. Not playing too bad at all. Keeper comes out. Punches. Balls to TV in the box. Fast that defender. Get a ball in. Blocked. Back heel. TV, left foot, early cross, in swing. I think he's offside. Uh, we play on anyway. Head down, lovely. Thomas Vega again in the box. Tackle, not cleared though. Aronson, TV picks it back up. Nice dribbling here. Goes into Martinez. 
Goes for a left foot. Finesse gets blocked. And it is cleared. It's out for a throw, though. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Come on, boys. Come on. We've been dominating. We need a goal, though. We need a goal. Thomas Vegas through. Lovely pass. Thomas Vegas, another tight angle. Good save again. Those angles are tough. Trying to fit. Nice touch there. Those angles are tough trying to score from. Especially considering we don't have the best finishing uh, in the world. But on target. Forcing the keeper to make a good save. It's a start. It's a start. That's a lovely tackle from Martinez. Right before half time here. This could be the pivotal part of this game. You never know. But they must score with this dominance. They got one sit. Oh, why did he let that run? The lock on. Oh, it's Assad again. We we played DC United like last episode, didn't we? I remember Assad, the left winger, who we dominated. He's back again. Little throw here. I think that's going to be it for the first half. Now the team's able to break the deadlock. Why? Nil nil, sorry. Take that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's one, two. Don't want to rush anything. And again, oh, I think he's offside. He is, he is. I thought he was. I thought he was. Up to Thomas Vega. Aronson. Thomas Vega. Martinez. Lovely. Thomas Vega. Santos in. I think he's offside. He's in front of the defender, though. Header goes wide. He is offside. Nice effort. Nice effort. We're knocking at the door. I'm guessing because it's playoff like you can't have draws, right? I don't know if it goes to replay or extra time or what, but you surely can't have draws. Because it's not like NBA and MLB where it's like a game of seven or whatnot. It's just one match on the schedule. Ball in again. Cleared out. It's just one match on the on the calendar, so I'm guessing it has to be decided today. Nice back here. Santos. Martinez. Martinez. The guy I can't say. I need to find out his first name. I can call him that. It's a bit late now. We're going to be leaving Philadelphia. End of the season in a few games. <laughs> Can't even learn his name. I'm going to miss Santos, though. I've enjoyed playing with Santos. And a few other other boys. That was a bad pass. I'm going to really miss my time here. I loved it. Maybe we'll be back. Who knows? Maybe they'll loan us again for a full season. You know? Maybe Bournemouth won't, won't play us yet. And we need to go on loan again. Who knows? I'm excited to play for, for Bournemouth, though. Eventually. When we, when we eventually do. Whether that's next season or not. I am excited. At the thought of playing in the Premier League with Vega. Well, a top -notch piece of defensive judgment. DC United have nothing so far. That's a bad pass. That's a bad pass in a dangerous area. Elliot is there. Oh, didn't lock me on. Vega back trying to help out. Good block. Elliot, well done. Well done. Well done. 20 minutes left here. Wagner, big touch. Goes back. Aronson, I know you have, oh, I know you have vision. I know you have vision. Vega, lofted ball in this time. Headed out. Trying to get those crosses in, you know. We're playing like Chelsea right now. Just whipping balls into no one. Intercepting. Well done. Martinez, come up. Jesus Christ almighty. Shot at me. Joseph Mo no, they've had nothing. They've Thomas Vega position. continuing to let them have nothing. 82nd minute, boys. Really? I don't really want to find out what happens if we draw this game. Because like I say, I'm Elliot. pretty sure it has to be finished today. Elliot, what a ball. Headed down. Vega. Oh, see, I wanted to compose myself first, but tried to fizz it across the box. Fizz without a play. Hey, Santos goes off. Both teams going to the bench. Oh, and Elliot. I like Elliot as well in the midfield. Solid midfielder. 82nd minute. Thomas Vega. The sub is in there. Too close to the keeper. That might be it. Vega the tackle. They're going to call back for the handball, it looked like. One minute added, and that's going to be it. It's going to end 0 0. Do we got extra time or whatnot? If you're a fan of the MLS, you probably know the rules. I do not. Vega takes him down. Slide tackles. But oh, come on now. Come on. Come on. He goes for goal. Way over. Full time whistle. What happens now? My guess is extra time. 
my guess would be correct. We have to find a winner here today, ladies and gentlemen. There is no second game. There's no away fixture. We go into extra time. And then I'm guessing penalties after this, obviously. If no one's decided by the end of this, which I don't want because we probably won't take a penalty and we'll probably end up losing. That was a poor switch. We were the better team over 90 minutes, but that doesn't mean anything when we couldn't take any of our chances. One more. Lovely. Lovely football. Who's in the box, though? Oh, I tapped that. I meant to tap that across to the striker. He blasted it across. Vega on the front post. Lofted in. Oh, my God. They had an open goal. He headed it down and above. They had an open goal. The captain as well. My heart just sank. I would actually be fuming if we if we went out in this first game, man. This is a, another trophy for Vega. Half time. Gaffer's not too pleased with, uh, pleased with our crossing this game. They have been quite wayward, I'm not going to lie. Really don't want to go penalties first game. Really, really, really don't want it to go down to penalties here. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. We need a late winner. Lovely interception from Vega. Winning the ball back. Strong. Very strong. Going to push up on attack. Play like a right winger. Push up. Three minutes left of extra time. In the first playoff round. Here is Thomas Vega. Into Martinez. Oh, intercepted. And I feel like it's pens. It's going to be one minute added a bit. Yep. Penalty shootouts. And again, we're probably not going to take one. If we do, we'll probably miss. So it's down to our team. Do we trust them? Probably not. Oh, I've left the left wing open now. Deception, thank you. Vega, hoof up. Penalties it is. If we lose our first game, I'm going to be so annoyed, honestly. Wooten steps up. Of course he misses. I, t I don't trust our CPU. I've already said I don't trust our team. I don't trust them. Well, I don't trust the other team either, to be fair. Nice. Sent the keeper going. 1-0 Philadelphia. Ah, he went down the middle as well. 1-1. Gaddis, number 28. Steps up. Bottom bins. That's a peno and a half, mate. Philip. Oh, save Blake. Save Blake. Edgelina. He goes, right, yes, keep us a bum. If we save, we go through. Blake in goal. Goes the right way. Go down the middle. We'll take it. Quick penalty shootout. Bish, bash, bosh. We go through. Celebrations begin. Happy days. Let's be having you. Blake is the saviour. New England finished second in the league. Uh, Inter Miami have New York. So Inter Miami, who finished top, they have New York. We have New England. Uh, Portland have Minnesota. And uh, Los Angeles have Sporting in the semifinals. We're at home again, which is very nice. I don't think it's neutral. I think we're at home. Uh, Forest Park, I think that's our stadium. They're playing a 4-2-3-1. Uh, Thomas Vega on the right side again. Looking to continue in the playoffs. Oh, it's a nighttime affair here in Philadelphia. As Union take on New England, let's be having you. We went through on penalties against DC United. I'm looking to win in the in the 90 minutes this time. I don't really want to be going to extra time again. I don't want to be faffing about with penalties again. I just want a good old-fashioned win. And to advance to the conference finals would be delicious. Thomas Vega taken on the left back. Oh, just about got the cross in. Santos in a bit too high for him. It bounces down, though. Oh, he was offside or does a handball or something in there. Need to, a, big, a big part of our game, which is our crossing. Um, we need to get back on point this game. We've been good at crossing this season. But last game, we, 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 were, we were just crossing for the sake of it. Having some stinkers in there. Santos, our wide. Thomas Vega, touch and shot. Yeah. We are, if we're shooting, we either have to get closer. Or just don't shoot and whip that one in. Because, boy. Yeah, last game, a few of our crosses were going very wayward. Wasting possession when we get down on that right-hand side in the box. We need to make sure our passes are worth it and get into our team in the box. Walk down to the right-hand side here. Going to lift it over. Lovely pass. 
Well, there's space on the left for Wagner here. Who takes that space. We have a player in the box for him. A few players in the box. He crossed it across. Oh, why didn't he shoot? Aronson with the... Uh, they blocked Aronson's shot. Why did he touch that? Why didn't he shoot that, idiot? What was he doing there? The dude whose name I don't know. He just bloody touched it down. It was a great pass by Wagner too. Put your foot through. That's 1-0. Oh, good skill, and he's managed to beat us. with the interception. We'll play it out. Sergio Santos. Montero sees TV in acres here. here. Gonna go up to Aronson. And again, over the top. Thomas Vega touch. Ball across. Headed out. Corner kick to Philly. Keeper gonna punch that one clear. Santos is yours. Ah, Vega trying to get in space. By making a run. Too bad Vegas. Too quick for anyone. Caught up to him. Forced him to go back. Lovely passing play here. Gonna cut back. Stamina plus one. Always cheeky. Ah, pass intercepted. No. Nice interception from a defender. Play it out here. These counter attacks where we pick it up on the right and we start running. These are where we're dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. The defender pushed off. Here is Vega into Santos. Player out on the left. Lovely. Is that Wagner? Tiz. Vega's going to lurk. Edge. Wagner all the way across. So it's Vega back post with a header. Forcing Turner into a good save. Fullback to fullback there. I like Wagner as well. I really like Wagner. Vega from behind. Forcing the misplaced pass. Half time, no, no, again, we've been the better team, but it's about taking the chances. You can be the better team for 45 minutes, but if you're not scoring, not taking the chances, what's the point in being a better team? Because it's nil nil. You know, we should be having the, having the lead by now. We're getting in the box, getting the chances, just not taking them right now. Same as DC United. And that one went to penalties. I don't want another penalty shootout. I really don't. Play in the box. Oh, I tried to set that. Goes out left. Oh, it didn't let me lock on properly. We're 1-0 down at home. Vega was all over the place there. All over the place. Tried to get in front of it. Oh, messed up. They scored the near post and we're 1-0 down. Boys, boys, boys. No, come on. This can't be the end of our MLS career. Can't be the end of this. I, wanted to... oh, I really want to win a trophy here, man. Really want to win a trophy with Philly. It would make me so happy. Diego Fagundes. Caicedo. Fagundes through. Jefferson. Blake, good save. Short. Oh, I tried to get in the way of that. Goes wide for a goal kick anyway. That's me saving off the line. What's the minute? Like 78 or something? 69. Okay, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Come on, come on. We can nab a goal in 20 minutes, surely now. Although we haven't had a chance in a while. We're not going to lie. No. Good tackle, striker. Oh, what well, he's offside. I Locked me on. I couldn't do it. Oh, left. Lovely. Good luck, boss. Oh, corner kick. 15 minutes left to play. Come on. Ball in, headed out. Aronson. Back to Vega. Oh, it's left back. It's been in our case, man. Tackle, tackle. Oh, through. No. Ten minutes left. Need to get this ball back. Need to get this ball back and go. That's what we need. We need this ball now. Oh, that's a tackle, surely. Corner kick. Oh, it's goal kick. Goal kick. Two minutes left to play. It's literally now or never, boys. Literally now or never. If we lose this ball, we are out. And we've lost the ball. I'll try to spread it. We got Wow. Vega. Oh. Boys, we need this ball now. Two minutes. Oh, it's done. It's done. Dink. No. Okay. Unless. Unless. Oh, it's done. It's done. GG. GG. Thomas Vega will leave his mark on the league with that tackle. And there it is. New England are going through Philadelphia Union. Crash out in the conference semifinals. 1-0 loss. Heartbreaking stuff. I really thought we could have won a trophy here. Really thought we could have won a trophy. Devastating. Devastating. It's like the like like uh, England players. It's like one loss and you're out at the World Cup. You know. Might as well do some postseason training. 
And we'll see what happens now. Do we end the season and go back to Bournemouth and carry on the Prem? Because it's only October. So do we go back to Bournemouth? I don't know how it works. I don't know how. Because I'm guessing it's like a season-long loan, you know. But does that mean when the MLS season ends, like now? Or when the Prem season ends? Uh, in National Friendlies, which is obviously not now. So we're going to have to like wait here until March, just training or, or May even. Sorry, not March. We'll see. I don't know how it works. Again, the loans didn't work before, so it's all new to me. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Disappointing to say the least, but good experience, you know? And that's what... Oh, not sure. I was like, what is this? And that's what... um, That's what... Um, loans are all about. It's getting, getting experience, you know? In a team and a league in a country that you've never played in before, which is the MLS. And we've got some good experience. We've got some good, uh, you know, four assists, one goal in ten appearances. We loved it, though. We do get selected for Argentina. It is just a friendly, though. I don't really care too much. We won 2 1. Messi scored a brace. Let's just pretend we assisted both of them and move on. <laughs> 76 overall. That being said, actually, it's going into 2022, the World Cup's going to come up. I highly doubt we're going to get selected for Argentina. I don't know who their right back is. I highly doubt we'll get selected at 17 years of age. Well, we'll be 18 then, but you know. I mean, the rule is if we don't play, we get to do training. So I'm going to make use of these training sessions. And get some stats up while we can, you know? Maybe this will mean Bournemouth would want to keep us next season if we're 76 rated. Player of the year is Cristiano Ronaldo. No news yet on whether we're returning to the Premier League to end the Premier League season or if we stay. I don't know yet. I don't know. Return to club. So the new year, December 31st, we are indeed returning to Bournemouth. Little three match, uh, three episode stint, sorry, in the MLS. And now it's January. Who knows? Maybe we'll go on loan again for next episode. Who knows? Let's have a gander. But three matches away from our club. You know, got some good experience. Like I say, I'm all about it. I thought that was, that was an awesome little... It's like a side quest, you know? Three episodes in a different league with a different team. I loved it. I really did. I thought it was awesome. Let's do our, get our training back. So how are Bournemouth doing? They're still in the FA Cup, which we have tomorrow against Chelsea. Uh, they got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. Uh, to Arsenal. Fair enough. They're currently... Oh, no! Oh, they're 18th. Oh. Well, I'll be honest with you. Well, it's a new year. He's 18 years of age now. It's Thomas Vega. Back at his home club, Bournemouth. He's gone and got picked in the FA Cup. So he could make his Bournemouth debut. St oh, I thought that said Sturridge. Sturridge. Uh, they play five at the back. And um, oh, we're looking at the team. It's... Yeah, it's a championship team, to be <laughs> Why Solanke? Oh, maybe because FA Cup. They're not playing Solanke. They got a 24-year-old. Uh, they're playing David Brooks, who I do like, to be fair. Billing in the middle. Maybe because FA Cup, they're playing slightly worse team. I mean, three of our best players are our right backs, including us. Decent defenders. Kelly, Fabricio. Okay, well, Bournemouth debut. Potentially next episode. We'll leave that one here uh, just to culminate the MLS. I don't want to play another game. You know, I want, I want that just to be an MLS episode, the playoffs, you know. So, three matches with Philadelphia. It's kind of a shame because I love the thumbnail. The Philadelphia Union thumbnail has been my favorite so far. Uh, but we'll make a Bournemouth one um, for next episode. Who knows? It's January. Maybe we go out on loan again. Maybe we get transferred. Who knows? Um, we shall see. Hopefully, you have enjoyed and you're excited for our Bournemouth debut where apparently we're in a relegation fight. So, it's different, but it could still be fun, to be fair. Uh, I've been Hunter Austin Austin's Green Skid. All my links in the description down below. Much love as always. Yeah, peace. Swear down, I can't believe this kid. My stand up for an idiot kid. Slap see a man get murked. Two penguins in a whip. I'm a read this kid in a bat like Donny Demur. Sat in the back like Donny Demur. I think the blonde thing's feeling heavy. He in the middle, he putting in work. Coming like Sutton, like coffee Kawasi. If he up top, then he's scoring a hattie. Same way he does when a man plays clubs. This year, the Brody hit 10k. Next year, that's 50,000 subs. I swear.